Okay, so it's uh, it's been quite foggy in here, so I don't know how funny I sound. Um, I'm wearing a mask here, so uh, basically what I've decided to do with the fuel system on this is no lift pump, not for now. If I ever want one, it'll be one that's in the engine bay, and uh, I'm gonna just hook up the whole draw straw type of deal, no lift pump, no nothing. Uh, the, uh, uh, the, the Volkswagen injection pump, I believe, has the check valve and everything so that you don't have to worry about any of it. Basically, you just want to have an inlet and then in a return, and uh, they can go directly into the tank. Uh, so we're going to have a look at this and see what I'm actually into as far as what I have to do to make that happen. And I'm going to start taking this apart right now. Alright, so this is what I'm going to run for a fuel uh, sending unit. Um, so basically what I've done here is something that will work, though it may not be the 100% best way. What I was hoping to do you look at this this is my return line the smaller one here uh, I used hard line fuel line right here that uh, cut a piece of that and I slid that over the joint there ran it down real nice slick clicked right into the there's actually already a spot there clicked it right in a1 and then uh, I went to the uh, the inlet side here and it was quite a bit bigger significantly bigger and if you look at this, this here's what was on there originally. This here flexible stuff, which it wasn't long enough to reach all the way down to the bottom of the tank. So it was no good for me. And unfortunately, this stuff here is too small. So I wasn't able to slide that over the fitting. So basically, I had to resort to the next best thing that I knew of. And that is the flexible line here. And I had some the right size, just, I think it's 5 16 maybe, I'm not 100% sure. Anyway, I ran that, I slid that over there and I ran it down and I've seen this work on these swaps. However, the problem with it is normally it, uh, it wants to curl on you. So what I did is I slipped it down inside of this. This is where the old fuel pump sat right there. And uh, I, <coughs> I ran the line down inside of there. And so, this presses into the tank, so it's sort of like this. Um, but anyway, this here is being held straight down by this. And just to make 100% sure, I stuck a zip tie on it there just to keep it over. And uh, it should stay straight. I then uh, modified this a little bit and hooked up my fuel gauge level here. And from what I can tell, I can leave this evap stuff here and I can use it for vent lines for my tank. I was thinking about taking all this off of there, but I, I'm not 100% sure on that, to be honest with you. I can't really find anything about it on the internet, so I'm just going to leave it. Alright, so here's the fuel tank done as of right now and how it's going to be when I first do the swap. Uh, basically, once I get into the frame, we're going to try everything, bleed the system, make sure it's all working properly. Um, obviously, got to fill the tank and see how that goes. So, what I've done has been quite a little bit of modifications here. Um, so, basically, I'm just going to go over what I did to the tank. you already seen the fuel pump, what I did with that. Uh, so, that's fine. I didn't touch any more there. But... I went back inside the tank. It took me like five times of taking this on and off before I got everything on there right. But uh, in the end, I went back in on the last time and there's a piece on this that is the anti-siphon valve. Um, I don't even know where it is now. But anyway, I beat it apart and took it off so that uh, basically I think it's going to restrict the fuel and it's probably going to foam up when I'm filling it. So... I took that off, it's just straight into the tank now. And then uh, up here on this end, I'm pretty sure the diesel nozzle is bigger. So I'm not 100% sure if it'll fit in that hole or not. I may have to make that bigger, I'm not sure. Um, but either way, uh, that's pretty easy to take that apart. Uh, 
I drilled two holes through it there just to give it a little more air when you're filling, but uh, we'll see how it goes. Uh, see if this actually has to come out or not. I don't know for sure, so I, I didn't do anything with it yet. Um, other than that, on the tank itself, what I've done, this was the old vent line and it went right into there. I've tapped into that with a T and I've ran a line over to where the EVAP used to do, uh, or used, the EVAP used to connect there. And that is so that the tank can breathe. Like, uh, it, I know uh, diesel doesn't expand and contract the same way that gasoline does, but you still need a vent. So that right there is the vent for that. And I just teed it in with the or other vent that was uh, factory on that, which just goes up into inside of here. And uh, so then uh, I also have seen posts of people saying that when you're filling it, it keeps clicking off and that you need more air. So I added this fitting here and that's the uh, also the EVAPs that uh, I used to plug into there. So that's basically free into the tank from what I can tell. So I just tied onto that and I ran the line up here and then I made my own fitting in here. And uh, that's on there. Now, the only other thing I did is uh, this here was about a three quarter inch line, maybe half. And I've seen people online also saying that they had to modify that and make it bigger so that you could actually fill the tank because it takes, takes forever when it was smaller. So I've added this here, sort of 45. Um, I welded it in, I cut the old one out and welded this new piece in and it's probably an inch and a quarter or inch and a half or it's probably about an inch and an eighth or something like that. Anyway, it's uh, that's what we're gonna run with for now and we'll see how this goes. From what I can tell, I've covered my bases on it and everything should function properly, but uh, you know, time will tell. So that's that for now. Okay, so now that the truck's all together, that fuel system that I ran did function properly. I, uh, I hesitate to upload videos of stuff like that until I know for sure that it's going to work. So anyway, the fuel lines come up here. Nothing's neatened and like this truck still just tore apart, but nowhere's near done. Um, but it's running and it's, it is functioning properly, so... I figure now is the time to say it worked and this is a legitimate way to run it. So I got the lines ran up to here and uh, they run to the stock fuel filter right there. The feed line is on this side and it is the clear line here and then it goes down to that spot in the injection pump. This is the return line. It goes up to here into this check valve and back down. Now, I've had no problems with it pulling fuel. I haven't drove a thing any amount, but it, it does uh, run fine. So this setup seems totally legitimate. The, uh, the only thing you're going to have to do to get your truck to run is once you get that all hooked up, then you're going to have to pull this line off and get some sort of mighty vac, or I use one of them little suction uh, for testing vacuum lines and stuff. Got one of them on there, and uh, it took a lot of uh, a lot of time and a lot of squeezing, and it took a while, but it did work. And I just basically did it until the filter was full and until everything was coming out through here. Now this motor sat for years with no fuel in the injection pump, so I don't know how the stupid thing ran because I heard horror stories about it online, but somehow it did. At first, it wouldn't hold it. You could just see the everything going back down the uh the inlet and i was like uh oh but it actually ended up seating up so once i got fuel coming out of here solid i tightened or i put the line back on then i cracked the injectors and i started cranking it over and i let it go and go until the sun was squirting out or whatever and then i i went and checked this again and pulled a little bit more uh, vacuum out of it because i wasn't getting enough shooting out i didn't think but uh, anyway, I must have because uh, once I did all that, put these all back on, put the line back on, the pump decided it was going to hold pressure here. So as you can see, there's one little bubble, which is pretty well normal. And uh, so it seems to be holding pressure right, right into the uh, pump there. So 
anyway that's uh that's the fuel system on it and it's quite basic so quite easy